What has two thumbs, is really cheap, has a giant head, and needs sunglasses? This guy. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I need some sunglasses, and I have a giant-sized head. It's amazing that I can even walk through doorways with this giant noggin of mine. Heed! Your giant head! So I picked up these super cheap sunglasses because I needed some sunglasses, and yet I didn't want to spend a pretty penny. Now, I will say that these are XL or super wide frames. Now sunglasses do come in frames that are slightly larger than this, but this is on the outer edge of what I have found available. This is actually 148 millimeters wide. I think the widest I've ever found is 160 millimeters, and most of the time it's hard to find without special ordering anything larger than 152 millimeters. Now, when you start getting into special orders, they can become more expensive, but at $11, 148 millimeters seem like it might be enough for me. Now you can see they are square sunglasses. I don't think anyone is trying to trademark this design. They aren't exactly that stylish. Maybe a little bit of a square Ray-Ban type of look. Really thick plastic arms on the back right there, as you can see. So you'll have nice surface area. There's a little sticker right here. It's a CE for the European Quality Assurance, but that can just get peeled off. Now, as I said, they're just dark and there isn't any polarization on these. You can see we just have the little plastic nose pads, no rubber or silicone or anything like that. And this is what they look like. And even the arms here don't have a big hook or anything. And they just kind of curve around the back of your head. So hold everything in place. Now, I'm just curious, is this going to be big enough for me? Drum roll, please. Ooh, hey, they seem to work. I tell you what, they are pretty nice and tight right here so if i'm doing something active i don't have to worry about them falling off maybe just a little bit more snug than i would need but not uncomfortable in any way so 148 millimeters you know to be really honest i'd probably go with 152 if they weren't more expensive but the 148 seem to work and they're not pressing into my temples here something that might give me a headache and because i have a giant sized head this way it's also a giant sized this way too so the fact that i have a really big lens right here is nice because it will help block out a lot of the sun especially with my eyes so far forward in my face it sometimes i get a lot of light leakage and so sometimes wearing sunglasses only does half the job now it does make me a little bug-eyed here makes me look a little bit like jacqueline kennedy or something like that but i'm just worried about them doing their job and it definitely seems to be darkening things up here making it a little easier on the eye so if you have a giant head like this guy if you have a small budget like this guy and you need sunglasses, you might want to pick these up. I'll put a link to them in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.